heard lots of good thinking. So how is the character feeling at this point in the story? What did you talk about? Abby? Does anybody want to add to that? Harley? Like, kind of like the blue, because like, she really wants the wood, but she can't use it. Can you share with the class what your confusion was? Maybe we can get some friends to help clarify. Like, the book says that she loves to read, but she can't read. And what's confusing to you about that? She also likes to read, and she can maybe kind of read. Well, what do we think about that, <coughs> friends? Is there only one way to read? No. Are we reading right now? Yeah. 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 No. Are you reading with me? Yeah. yeah. But who's actually reading the word? You. you. So is maybe what Trisha's talking about is listening to her parents read, her grandparents read, her brother read, that's all reading that she loves. Does that make more sense, Harley? She loves hearing that reading. She just isn't the person yet that can read the words. Cooper? Oh, I'm sad if you cry because my mom and dad cry when um, they read this book because at the end it's Okay, so you're giving me a little sneak peek, a heads up for the ending. All right, let's turn the page and see. Take a look at what's happening on this page. What are you thinking, Easton? Um, she, her face is red, so that's probably she's frustrated and mad. Frustrated and mad? Liam, what do you want to add? Um, like disappointed, maybe? Disappointed. Lots of feelings going on in this story, right? Let's see what the words tell us. In first grade, Trisha sat in a circle with the other kids. They were all holding our neighborhood, the first grade reader, sounding out letters and words. They said, but boy and look, look. The teacher smiled at them and when they put all the sounds together and got a word right, but when Trisha looked at the page, all she saw were wiggling shapes. You know what? She has a... And when she tried to sound out words, the other kids laughed at her. Trisha, what are you looking at in the book, they'd say. I'm reading, she'd say back to them. But her teacher would move on to the next person. Always when it was her turn to read, her teacher had to help her with every single word. And while the other kids moved on to the second reader and third reader, she stayed in our neighborhood. Trisha began to feel different. She began to feel dumb. Cooper, I know you've been waiting patiently. Um, she has this like special need where, where she, so she needs, to, so some people have this, so they look at words and they're like, like moving everywhere. So then that, she has that special need. Yeah, so, and, and when she's that little, she doesn't know she has that. She just real, she, all she knows is it's really hard for her to read. And she's feeling kind of disappointed that other kids are moving ahead of her, right? Are you ever disappointed when friends can do something that you can't do? Yeah. But do we remember what we said we have to do? Bill, Mystery Doug had a whole Mystery Doug on this. Persevere, absolutely, Tesher. But along with persevere, we have to... Practice. <gasps> Ona, is that what you were gonna say? Practice, all right. The harder words got for the girl, the more and more